Well, hi there, and welcome back to our series of tutorials in Word 2016. So in this tutorial, which will be fairly short, we're going to be looking at multi-level lists. Um, what these are, these are ways to organize key points of information in your document. So moving on from the document we've been working on in the last few tutorials, I'm just going to zoom out here to show that. See, this is the document we've been playing with. We've played with the color on here and done some stuff in tables and all these kind of good things. And um, we've put our content page in. What I've done here is added some extra text. So I'm just going to zoom back into that. There we go. You can follow along here, but all you've got to do is type some text anywhere in the document as a separate piece, separate lines. So all I've done here is done some key points. Whoops some key points which I'm just highlighting now. Let me just zoom in a little bit further. There we go. So this is fine and there's ways that we can call this out. Uh, we, what we're trying to do with this text here is make very specific points that are easy to read. Now as we've already done we can simply make this a bullet point list by clicking this button here and that's fine. I'm just going to undo that by pressing this button again. There we go. But what you may want to do is have called out information with other call outs specific to that first one underneath it which which if you do this is not necessarily clear to see so what we can do instead I'm just going to undo that once more is turn this into a multi-level list now this is some a bit similar to having a numbering list which I can do by clicking that button just like bullet points I can undo it with that I can switch between the two I'm getting off the point a bit but what I'm trying to point out is what we're doing here is not these number lists or these bullet point lists. So we're just going to do that again. It's this button here we're interested in. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. Now Word is quite clever. The simple way is to have your text selected and the key thing about these is there must be a return at the end of each of these lines. I'm going to signify that with a full stop. This should be really. And if I select that and I can click this button and I get a choice of what kind of multi-level list I want. What style do I want? So I can have one, then a dot, then a circle or whatever. One, then 1.1 1 .1, and 1.11 and you'll see the effect of that in a minute because I'm going to choose this option. You see what it's done there? It's just numbered the list in exactly the same way that a numbered version would do. What we can do is then indent. So you can see from the text here I've written a key point you want to make or call out to your audience or readers and then some more details about that key point. So if I put my cursor at the beginning of this line, don't worry about the two being there, just click there and press my tab key. And can you see what happens? It indents the text and automatically numbers a lower level list. And I can do the same here, and I could do the same here, and I could do the same here. Now if you ever make a mistake doing that, that's not a problem. You just have to click where you want to remove what you've done so not on the numbering Lead, never try and manually change this numbering because you'll get all kinds of stuff going wrong and it gets very painful to sort out click in the text that you're trying to deal with let's say for instance this 1.2 I don't need I want this as a separate standalone point I'll put my cursor there and press shift tab there we go so it's tab to indent and shift tab to undo that indent and you can actually do that to any level you want. So I just tab that in there. Um, what I'm going to do with that one, I could make this a sub-level to this one, like this. And if I go to the end here and then press Enter, it automatically numbers the next one for me. So some more text. And again, it automatically numbers for me. Even more Ooh. Te text. There we go. Delete that there. And I can still play with these with my tabbing and shift tabbing as much as I like. So I can click in there and say, actually, that should be there, and that should be there, or even that should be there. So you can see you can change these multi levels by just using the tab and the shift tab key combinations. Now, the other thing you can do is when you've got this set up, you can select over it, and using the, using the button on the ribbon that we used to create this multi level uh, list. You can click the little triangle to the side of it and see other ways it can be listed. So I can choose that, for instance. I can choose that format. 
I can choose something like that, which is a different style entirely, but you, you get the point. Let me just undo that. I'm going to convert that back to how I had it originally, which is this numbering scheme here. There we go. So that's indenting, indenting and not indenting, for, for want of a better phrase, using multi-level lists. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.